My name is Kim Norman, I'm the Land Management Officer for e and at Tlacra, Liverpool Bay. e and is an international oil and gas company. They've been involved at Liverpool Bay since the onset of the project, 1996, first oil and gas went into production. Go back five years and there was the investigation for it, the planning permission development. In order to get the planning permission, they would have had to have submit information about the ecology of the site and what was going to be disturbed and how they were going to mitigate for any disturbance. The biggest two projects that were secured were ownership of Granite Dunes and Tlacra Warren, which is about 60 acres, and the ownership of Warren Farm with a wetland irrigation scheme, and that's about 90 acres. So those two, what we call land management projects, really helped secure the license to operate, the, the drilling license for the, for the whole of Liverpool Bay operation. And that's where my job sits. My job is part of that license to operate. So I oversee all the ecological work that happens on e i owned land. And of course, so everything e and i own, bar 30 acres of gas terminal, is triple SI and conservation designated. A couple of the nicest projects that have come about with the land management programmes are the reintroduction of two of my favourite species, which is the Natterjack toad and the sand lizard. Pre-95, we would have done a, an EIA, an environmental impact assessment, on the construction of the terminal and the pipeline. That would have meant a huge ecological survey and it would have told us exactly what we had. Everything, plants, insects, birds, mammals, amphibians, reptiles. So we can look at the historical data for the site and see what has been recorded, compare that with what was recorded pre-construction and see what species we've lost, what species we've gained. But one of the species we had lost was the Natterjack toad, which is the rarest amphibian in, um, in the UK. So that was a point of concern for the likes of Arc Trust, Amphibian and Reptile Conservation Trust, and NRW. So they wanted to be able to include a project that looked at getting the dunes back to the right favourable habitat where Natterjack toads could be reintroduced. So we wanted to work towards a sustainable population size of 100 plus adults. That started with making sure the sand dune system habitat was right and there were breeding pools uh, available. So the breeding pools were made and the Natterjack spawn swings were brought over from Sefton Coast, which was the nearest site that had Natterjack toads. So they were brought over as tadpoles and as spawn strings in a bucket. <laughs> the chap who brought them across remembers vividly of um, putting them in the back of his car and going under the tunnel <laughs> to get here. So they were quite, quite a journey. And they were put into the breeding ponds and then that was done four consecutive years. So that gave us four different age ranges. Survival rate is terrible for tadpoles. And so from a 3,000 egg a string, as we call them, you might only get two to three surviving to breeding age. So it's a slim chance of that Natterjack making it through. But the four years of consecutive um, tadpole and egg release at Talacra meant that in four to five years, we might be seeing our own breeding on the site. It worked. Within four years, we were seeing our own Welsh Natterjacks breeding on the site. And then we've never looked back. We're easily up to 200 adults. And we don't do much interference now. We, we, we try and record them, the eggs, and we try and record them as adults. And we manage the site as a whole, so the habitat as a whole is right for them now. And then that's come on to the site being in a favourable conservation status for the sand lizard reintroduction, which only happened four years ago. So baby sand lizards, juvenile sand lizards or hatchlings have been released. They've been reared by private breeders and the likes of Chester Zoo. Quite a big partnership involved in that, led by Arc Trust and Flintshire Biodiversity Officers. So again, a three to four years of consecutive re uh, reintroductions of hatchlings, means that year four or five, we could be seeing our own lizards breeding, laying their eggs and having our own hatchlings.